G'day guys, on this video we're going to do what is called a yo-yo and in reality if I were to do it with a natural hand hold left to right I actually will be doing a first move so the yo-yo action is because we're changing sides multiple times and we're sending the girl away and in. Alright, let's invite Kerry in. Now we're going to do a handshake and we'll do it on basic footwork. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. All right, we'll do it from, did I do it this side or that side last time? No, we'll do it the same. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So what I like to say is it's like a psych move for the girl. She thinks she's doing a regular first move right here. She's preparing the hand on the shoulder, but because the leader keeps rotating his body, then it encourages me to continue on, and that's where the yo-yo action happens. So I never quite complete the first move. I am encouraged to keep yo-yoing through to at least another second or third, perhaps. Yeah, and I'm actually, instead of doing my basic footwork back and forward and back and forward, what I'm doing is back and I'm going around and pivoting and then coming back around. So, so if you see him do his footwork again, I'll call it out. I, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we do it together. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So if I put that on a count, eight, one, two, three, four. Pivot. One, two, three, four, one, two. So you can see when I pivot, let's go from this way. Eight, one, two, three, four. I go forward on four, I pivot away on five, send the girl back, I come forward into the girl and I'm back to my normal Manhattan style footwork. And if we did it the other direction. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So that shows you the action. I call the one when we're stepping back. Get used to that move. It's really cool because you can add a lot of different variety to that movement and a lot of rotation. Like this. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do off that, we're going to do a flare. Ron de Jean, I like to call it a flare, but either way it'll work. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And then three, four, five, six. How about you want to add it? Did we do that from this side? I didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Now it's really important here, if I can start on this side again, is that the connection maintain nice and firmly through here because you're going to feel follows as if it's going to slightly deepen because the leaders are going to parlay that deepening of connection into this yeah. ronde, yeah. <laughs> and that is, I'm actually stepping back into the right foot at the end of that yeah. ronde for him. Mm -hmm. And so he's actually using our bodies and the momentum he's creating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, away. So we'll do it from this side. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So you see I've got a flare, I'm holding it all the way around. I can really hold that as long as I like, but we'll just put it to a count. Carrie will actually count it while I do it. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So that was with a really long hold. He held five through the ronde and six and then waited to step on seven and then eight. He can also hold or sweep four, five, step on six, hold seven. Now let's step on six on the left foot, then step on the right foot on seven, hold eight, and then one, two. So we'll do yeah. that. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, step, six, hold, seven, step, eight, rock, one, two. All right, very good. So keep practicing that, you'll work it out. If you get off time, you put the flare in, the really good thing is I can do a male advanced footwork where I just stood there then <laughs> and kept going until I got carried back into that starter position or shadow position, and then we're ready to lead out onto the next move. We maintain our rhythm no matter what, that's it's a partnership. 
we can help out each other if the gentleman yeah. needs to do advanced male footwork or vice versa. So yeah. now we're going to put one in where the fellow gets to run day as well. Yeah, and we can do this either in tandem or individually. I'm just going to do basic footwork, footwork while Kerry does the move. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So we'll do this from this side. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So as you notice, uh, I happen to be dropping into the four because I have to do it rather quickly. In this particular variation, I'm doing the sweep only on one count with my right foot. As it hooks behind, that's gonna be my five count, so I continue moving into the yo-yo aspect of that first move. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll show that from this direction a couple of different ways. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and the other direction. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Shane out of his, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, there's many different variations you can do off that sweep. As I mentioned, I'm getting nice and low, so it looks bigger, even though I only have one count to do it on. Know that you can keep the foot into coupe, you can pull that foot up to passe. It doesn't have to be all the way out, it really depends on your space on the floor and musically what matches the song or the bit that you're dancing to better in one instance than another. So keep up that good work, and if you have any comments, questions, or requests, go ahead and uh, post in the comments below.